team is one of the greatest things that you can have in your life, whether it's at work or at school or at home, to have a group of people that you can rely on is amazing. It's a great privilege to have a team of people around you. Two hands are always better than one and things get better when we do them together, but stuff's also a lot more enjoyable. Not only is it easier. You know what? You'll have lots of different teams in your life that uh, whether it's to do with personal, your personal life or your work life or, or sporting or anything, but absolutely working in a team is actually what will get the, get the job done. Through School Strike for Climate again, I've seen that same um, value and importance of teamwork uh, and the different skills that everyone brings to a team. But it's also, again, important to reflect that nobody ever does anything meaningful alone. Nobody ever changes the world alone. You think about history and all of those people who led these massive marches or gave these amazing speeches. If there weren't all of those regular, everyday people who decided to also be engaged in that movement and that momentum for change, then they just would have been random people walking down the street by themselves or speaking in an empty room. A big part of my life is communication and I feel like as a hairdresser I learned really, really awesome communication skills and it's those communication skills that enabled me to um, be able to um, meet lots of diverse people and be able to engage and interact with lots of people. A high performing team has some really key traits as I've said, so they're communication, collaboration and trust. And I feel that anything can be solved if we have good communication and good conversation. So um, as soon as we learn about each other, that's when we actually um, can get lots of different work done. We need to be able to understand each other. How do we do that? Listening. Listening to understand what the others are saying. And being a team, as an example for each of you, being a team inside our homes and lockdowns. So that has included, for me, it's included being kind, taking time to talk to each other, and understanding where each other is coming from. During COVID-19, you might have felt like you and your family were on your own. But one of the things that Jacinda Ardern has consistently talked about is that we're a team of five million New Zealanders. And I think that's a really important concept to think about all of the time. We're always part of a team and the things that we do have an impact on others and others' actions have an impact on us as well. We can influence the impact that people have on us. We can invite them to help us when we need their help or we can let them know if things that they're doing aren't helpful. And we can also be conscious of how the things that we're doing impact on others. I have what I would like to call a truth teller. So a truth teller is somebody who's always super honest with you. So I guess one of the cool things to think about is who's your truth teller in your team or are you that person for someone else because it's both a gift that you can give and a gift that you can receive. When I've worked with teams, one thing that I've always done is tried my best to get to know everyone in the team individually. Once you get to know everyone individually, you can kind of get uh, an idea around what it is that they're passionate about. Because we are always together, we have to work really hard on creating a good space and environment to work as a team. I think we're very fortunate because we're sisters, so we have this unique intuition with each other. But I think outside of this space, because we are so close, it has its own unique challenges that whatever other sort of teamwork situations and we're kind of able to apply those skills. Another really important thing to bear in mind is the way that we think about problems. One of the things that I learned um, which has been really useful to me is to think about problems as just a set of circumstances and the way that we're thinking about those circumstances. And then if you change the way that you're thinking, you might find that it's not a problem at all. When it comes to teamwork, you're not always going to operate in the same way as everybody else. So Casey and I operate in completely different ways, but we both understand how each other work. But a great leader and a great team member is able to work with each person's individual skills and abilities. Um, it's important in my job I that I don't stand alone. What I do every day can be really difficult. So I have a team of people around me and it's not just the people that I work with, it's my friends, it's other people that do the same thing. Um, even if people aren't helping you with exactly one thing, just the fact of having other people around you and sharing the load at any time 
is helpful and for me that's what teamwork is about. Remember that you're never going to come up with a sustainable long-term solution unless you have a diversity of opinions around the decision-making table from the get-go. It reminds me of a Māori saying, e hara taku toa i te toa takitahi, so um, our strength doesn't come from one individual, it comes from us or a lot of people. So know that whoever you are, whatever age you are, whatever your passions or your interests are, you bring something that uh, that someone else can't bring to that team.